check, 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 check. Uh. Check, 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 check. Two, three. Check, 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 check. Ooh, let's check it out. So I never knew that Michigan produced wine, but they do. And not only do they produce wine, but they're winning competitions all over the world for their wine. It is that good. Yeah, so that's why we're here visiting Michigan's oldest and longest wine trail, the Leelanau Peninsula Wine Trail, to sample some of the best wine. Today, we're visiting three wineries on the Leelanau Peninsula. First, we'll stop at the award-winning Black Star Farms, then visit Chicone Winery, which is one of the first of 10 wineries in the region, and end our day at Bregman Brothers, a winery dedicated to environmental sustainability. So our first stop on the Grand Traverse Wine Loop is Black Star Farms. Black Star Farms is probably considered the premier wine and culinary destination in Michigan. My father started growing grapes on Old Mission Peninsula in the early 90s and had developed a taste with, for fine wines. And then this, this house that wasn't quite done came up for sale and it looked like an inn and we decided to start an inn and a winery. Look at this, look at this behind us. That was a house, that was a house. I love being out in the country. Buddy, what do you think? Digging it? Yeah, you're tired. <laughs> and wine and a distillery and horses and hiking trails and an inn. This place has got a cupboard. So we've explored the grounds, we've eaten some great food, but it's time to do what we came here to do, which was try some wines. We entered six Rieslings in the Canberra International Riesling Challenge in Canberra, Australia, and we won with all six wines. Rieslings do great in our microclimate up here in the Midwest, up on the Lake Michigan shores. We have just a great climate for it. Jan's reaction <laughs> had me wondering what she was drinking. She was so happy. I've never seen anyone react to wine this way. I could literally walk away with 20 bottles of each of those, the late harvest Riesling and the pear wine. I got a little carried away. We gotta say goodbye. As sad and heartbreaking as it is, we have to go. Guys, Thank you. get here, Black Star Farms. Yeah, we love it, come visit. From Black Star Farms, we're driving just seven minutes down the road to Chaconi Winery, which sits on top of a hillside overlooking beautiful Sutton's Bay. The Ciccone family bought this land in 1995, and in the spring of 1996, they went to New York, they bought 6,000 vines and hand planted all 6,000 of these vines into the land. And these are the wines that we're drinking today. They produce about 2,500 bottles per year, and they currently have 17 different wines on their menu. Chicone Winery is the only winery east of the Mississippi to grow the Dolcetto grape. Here it goes, it's going down the old throat. That is a really special, smooth, dry rev. Wow, I'm gonna finish this, so I'm gonna stop talking to you. From Chicone Winery, we're driving nine minutes south to our final destination, Bregman Brothers. Bregman Brothers was founded by Robert Bregman and Edward Bregman. This was owned by the Leelanau Conservancy at one point, so we are certified in healthy practices throughout our vineyards. We produce amazing Riesling, Gewürztraminer, Bordeaux Reds, um, whatever vinifera grapes do well with the soil and the cool climate that we have to work with. Can you hear me? They get really huge. How cool is that? Our first taste at Brangman Brothers is the Too Long Cool Rosé. Right here in this beautiful bottle. Got it right here. And look what it says here. Tribute to Captain. Now, Captain was the dad. 
this dad steered a ship with 13 kids. Try running that ship. That's crazy. So when he passed away, this is the tribute bottle to their father right here. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That concludes our wine tour here in the Grand Traverse Bay wine region. Yeah, Michigan. Man, you guys are killing it on the wine. We are so impressed. If you come to Michigan, make sure that you try their wine. You will not regret it. And if you've been to Michigan and tried other wineries in the area, let us know which ones you love because we want to go try them too. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And just remember, keep, keep finding, finding ways, ways to, to travel, travel smarter. smarter. They have a tasting room, cool. It's awesome, the wine's great. They, uh, they have events here, weddings, things like that. But you know what they have here? It's super cool. Tango lessons. Yeah, super cool, right? Drink some wine, learn to dance. Can't beat it.